Hey guys, what's up? Uh, take a look at that. I think it's pretty obvious what the deal is here. So I've had this thing for about two years. It's not even that. I don't. I never even use this thing. Um, I can see moisture in there, and all of a sudden we have some problems here. A couple of the bars are out. So I can't see it. I don't know how this is wired yet. But I'm guessing this is like a serial, serial, or excuse me, a series and or parallel, or both. But uh, yeah, I'd like to fix this. Thing was like 30 bucks on Amazon. So I'm gonna take it off, take it to my test bench, and uh, see what's up with it. All right. So yeah, I definitely see a lot of uh, moisture here. It's on my test bench. So I'm gonna hook up to my uh, total power supply. There, variable. See if I can figure this out. These two main routes. I don't know if these are wired in series or parallel or both. So I'm going to take this off and see if I can figure it out. But I don't know if these things are actually functional or if they're just for looks. The front uh, Allen screws here. But I know there's some on the sides here. Uh, i got to figure out how to pull the, the board out of here. Alright, yeah, I'm wondering how moisture is actually getting in there too. So, yeah, I can't remember if I spent 40 or 30 bucks. It wasn't, wasn't expensive. So, not the end of the world if I can't get it to work again. But, I mean, I never used it, and yeah, it's already already jacked, so. Okay, so. How would that be? Right, okay. Get this good one. Down the back. Alright, got one side off. I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of interesting. So I think what these screws do, if you see that little, that little white seal right there, that's like a little, uh, I don't know if that's silicone sealant or actually a seal. And then these Allen screws on top, they put pressure down on the glass to keep it sealed there. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting concept. But, uh, alright, I'm going to get the other side off and see if I can get this glass off here. And I don't know if this thing's actually glued on to the back of this heat sink or not, or what the deal is. But... Alright, All right. so when I took this side off, the water's just dripping out of here on this side. That milky white water right there. If you can see that in the picture of the frame. Yeah, that's definitely not good. At least I'm getting the moisture out, you know. Alright, it's working over here, buddy. Okay, so just... Right, it's totally wet in there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the circuit board lies. Alright, so now I'm going to take this glass off, get in there. Wow, so I wonder how the water's getting there. In here? Well, we had definitely some pretty good rains here. So, Southern California. Alright, so just like I suspect, I got all these loose on the top, and it looks like this just slides out the side. I don't know if it's plexiglass or glass. It feels like plexiglass. Yeah, I got a lot of moisture. Alright, so I think I figured this out. So these little bar, these little, these little things are actually held on by two screws, little reflectors. See that right there? The little reflectors. Um, they're held on by two screws. So I'm going to take all these off, and uh, I can see there's actually a couple screws. Sorry, out of frame here. So underneath that reflective surface, that's actually there's an Allen screw that holds the, the board onto the, uh, onto the uh, heat sink there. All right, that's pretty interesting. So I'm going to take the board off right now, but you can see where it's separated here. So it's longer on this side than it's on this side. So that's that's interesting. And it's soldered together, two separate boards. Like on this side, they seem like they're mechanically they're the same, same resistors and uh, <coughs> capacitors and stuff on there. So I'm going to take this board off the, off the heat sink and see what's up. All right, so here's the board out of the uh, heat sink. Looks like they use a little thermal paste on the back side to absorb heat. So, let's test this again without the heat sink. Try to have a cleaner workbench here. All right. All right, so that's the bad side. Interesting is that the supply side is actually the bad side. Alright, so it looks like these are modules are separated. 
into two. Like this one actually has three modules on it. And this one actually has two. Two sections. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at sections. Two, two, and this one actually has three on it. But what's weird though, it, it's a flood and, and a... I guess that what the difference is, they're probably all the same. But the difference is this right here. This is makes it either a flood or a spot. See the, the, the shape of these little uh, reflector material here? So the circuit is probably all the same LED, obviously. It's, it's not a different LED, it's same LED, but that's that's the difference there. That's what makes it flood and and spot. Alright, so I can actually see something pretty obvious right now. Looking at it a lot closer, I'm, I'm looking at the solder joints. It looks like that diode right there. You can see that, but the diode, the solder joint's broken on that diode right there. So I'm going to bust out my solder yard and I'm going to re-solder that right there. See if that makes any difference. Alright. Alright, so I kind of cleaned up the pads here a little bit. And uh, actually, look at this closer. It definitely looks like it's a protection diode because the main negative voltage comes through this diode right here, which then feeds the board. So I'm assuming it's the water probably grounded out something in here or the vibration knocked this thing loose. But I'm thinking probably some of the voltage got. I, I never turned this thing on, so it's. It'd be kind of weird, so I don't know if that's you know, the case or not, but like I said, this looks like a protection diode, so I haven't even tested this yet, so let's, let's see if this works. So I gotta at least uh, figure out the basics, you know, check the basics, look at that stuff first, then if that doesn't fix it, then move on down the line. There it goes! <laughs> Back in business. Check your diodes. Alright. Alright, so now you gotta figure out how the water got in. So I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a little bit of dirt on the seal there. But it looks like the dirt, I don't know if that actually got in there when I was pulling it off, but it looks like the dirt's actually on the seal. So I'm gonna clean that off, and then this one doesn't seem like it goes all the way to the very edge right there, so I'm gonna pull that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna lube these up with some petroleum jelly. On right here where they where they contact, just to you know make it a little bit more hopefully seal a little bit better. I'm also lubing this up with petroleum jelly too. That way it's gonna help repel some of the water, loosen this thing up a little bit, you know make it re reshape its form again. So another problem I noticed is see how those rubber seals they don't go all the way to the very end. So I don't know if that's on purpose or by design. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glass back on and then hopefully by tightening the center screws first it's going to bulge the rubber seals towards the outside. Hopefully that will be long enough to get to the very end to seal the gap up. So I don't know if that's actually where the wire was coming from or on the sides. But uh, yeah, I lubed those up on you know, the uh, petroleum jelly. Alright, so by tightening them on the center backwards I'm able to, them to bulge on the sides. That's actually what I wanted. I might have to cut that off a little bit, but I can tell me the side caps. All right, so you can see that petroleum jelly bolting out, and that's kind of what I wanted right there. I wanted a extra barrier of water repellent. All right, so also another thing I noticed too is uh, this right here. Since this thing is actually facing up on my car, I don't know, even though it's sealed internally, I think I'm gonna put some silicone around that right there. Push it down to that gap, just a extra little bit of sealant because that, that will create like a puddle right there, and the water will just sit there. So, all right, all right. So check, take a look. So for less than an hour's worth of time, I was able to fix the LED, the bad strip here that was here, and uh, seal it better than factory. I think water seal it, you know. So, you can see the petroleum jelly around the sides. Some of the silicone sealant to seal that right there. Wish I had black, but cool. Save 40 bucks.